Hey, this is Chris and Lamb of God. You're watching Rock and Metal News. Hey guys, this is Ron from YouTube's Rock and Metal News, and this is my top 10 CDs of 2012. Last year, uh, for 2011, I had picked uh, Mastodon, The Hunter, as the uh, my favorite album of 2011. Uh, I thought this year there was just uh, more of a variety of great albums and just maybe some higher caliber bands putting out some some albums this year. So it was a little uh, little more to choose from this year. I'm going to start off at number 10 with Lacuna Coils, Dark Adrenaline. I just thought this was an overall great album. Uh, I thought there was some uh, excellent vocal trade-offs uh, from both vocalists in this album, and just the this, this song quality was great, and the song structures were great in it. So number 10 is Lacuna Coil, Dark Adrenaline. Number 9 was Three Inches of Blood, Long Live Heavy Metal. Uh, these are local boys from my hometown, and I thought they just put out an unbelievably solid album. Uh, you know, you know, th they really play off a lot of old school thrash metal. You can hear a lot of Judas Priest influence in this album. Um, I thought they, you know, the lyrics and just the, the the flow of the album was great. Every song was great on the album. Uh, excellent production. Uh, so three inches of blood. Long Live Heavy Metal number 9. And number 8 was Serge Tankian's Harakiri. Uh, Serge Tankian, of course, the lead vocalist for System of a Down. Um, I thought this album was the best of his solo stuff. And I almost it almost had a feel of, a, of almost a new System of a Down album uh, in a lot of the writing. His other solo stuff, there was a couple of songs that, that had the system feel. This one here had a lot. Uh, I could see Darren really, um, you know, singing back up on a lot of these songs um, but I really enjoyed that album and number seven was Unisonic's self-titled album Unisonic um, that has ex-Halloween members Kai Hansen and Michael Kiske uh, and I thought it was just a great album it was nice to hear uh, you know Michael Kiske singing again um, in the in a kind of heavier style with Kai Hansen you know doing backup vocals and adding some great guitar so I uh, really enjoyed that Number six was Soulfly Enslaved. Of course, Soulfly leader Max Cavalera from Sepultura. Uh, you cannot go wrong with a Soulfly album. Just a, cr just a killer album from start to finish and uh, just super heavy. Just love his uh, song titles, the way he writes songs. And for number five, it was Testament's Dark Roots of the Earth. Uh, you know, I, I love Chuck Billy. I love his vocals. A big, long-time Testament fan. And I thought they uh, really put out a good, solid album. And they got some awards for uh, uh, Native Blood in there as well. So uh, really good, uh, good, solid album from Testament. And number four was the Deftones, Koi no Yoken. Uh, geez, man, this, this album had pretty much the whole spectrum of the Deftones in it. Uh, really loved the, uh, the song structures, the great, uh, of course, you know, great vocals in it, and some just some killer guitar riffs. Um, just loved that album. So a really good, solid album. I know some people had the Deftones uh, rated as number one this year, but... Uh, Got a little bit of heavier stuff coming. So, uh, number three, I had White Chapel, self-titled album White Chapel. Man, what a, a heavy, good, killer album this was. Um, I just thought they just... Uh, just just put out a killer album. I thought it was a, definitely the best White Chapel album. Um, love the vocals, love the lyrics, um, and they just just killed in it. Uh, not much to say about the top top two here. I mean, number two was Lamb of God Resolution. Uh, Lamb of God, man, they they may went may, went through some diversity this year with Randy getting in jail. Uh, you know, in, in the Czech Republic, they overcame that. Um, just put out a killer album at the beginning of the year. So kind of, you know, hopefully it held its strength. But I'll tell you, uh, what a, an excellent album. They really, I thought they d diversified a bit, you know, with King Me. Uh, they had some, some great backing vocals in this one. They just, uh, you know, just put out a really solid album. Um, and uh, not much more to say about that. Lamb of God, number two. And my number one pick for 2012 was Creator's Phantom Antichrist. Uh, that 
absolutely hit the mark for albums as far as what's going on in the world, um, the the excellent uh, lyrics in this one, song structures, great playing, super solid Creator album. Creator just keeps going a notch above every time they release something um, and they really hit the mark in every aspect with Phantom Antichrist. Um, excellent job for Creator. I mean they've been around for such a long time and they just put out super quality albums all the time. Uh, if you haven't checked out Creator's Phantom Antichrist, check it out. And that is my top pick for 2012. This is Ron from YouTube's Rock Metal News. Thanks for tuning in.